How would you like some peanut butter with that jelly sandwich? Mother f- Hey, oh, it's the Chris Court Show. Hey, oh, it's- Hello, I'm Skylar Love, and you're listening to the Chris Court Show, and this episode is brought to you by... Is that warm in your hand? Hello, what? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I had a good intro and you just <laughs> fucked it all up. That's what I am here for, sir. Yeah. <laughs> I see that we didn't do uh, microphone adjustments there. I forgot about that. Yeah, we didn't do microphone checks. Yep. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another interview episode HR is judging me right now. I feel it. HR is judging me because of what I asked you just a minute ago. <laughs> no, I found that funny. <laughs> See, this is why I like our HR guy. A guy. And our HR our guy is Timothy Gorecki. That's correct. Say hi. Hello. We pay That's him right. very well to be HR. Yes, we do, actually. Do you need another beer? <laughs> <laughs> That's how we pay him. So, guys, I'm going to cut out the shit right now, and I am very excited about this one, this interview with Skylar Love. It was an awesome time. We had a really good time, you know, talking about, uh, uh, you know, a lot of serious matters and, and uh, you know, the, the reasons why she wrote her songs and, you know, her influences or, or you know, it's just you're going to listen to it and it, and it's great. But what I'm more excited about is to play her song that isn't released just yet, or it might be well, released. Well, it's released right? today. Yeah, it's released it's today. It's released today. Yeah. Um, but it is released today, so this is her new song. And we played um, Skylar on uh, two episodes ago. Do you remember what the name of that? Uh, I just looked it up. Uh, More Whiskey. More Whiskey? Yeah. Okay. Um, but, you know, we, we played, and the and, we sent out an invite for an an inter- interview on the uh, uh, actual episode, and you know she she responded. So we were just like, "Fuck yeah, let's do this! Fuck yeah, let's do this!" All right, and we finally got the interview, and and it was great. You know, it was it was really really cool. Um, so that's what I'm mo- most excited about. Um, and and again, you know, like we say in every episode, you're gonna hear it in the uh. In the interview, how the uh, interview went, it w- it was just it was great. I mean, it was it was just uh, her talking a lot about uh, you know. Y- y- I'm I'm done. I'm done talking. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think you're. I'm, I'm I think so you're gonna excited. Have a, I think you're gonna have a suit here with HR. <laughs> what? I am? oh, because I got my hand on him. I'm sorry, Tim. I'm sorry. I'm yeah, I had my hand on you because like I was just. Tim's, the, Tim's yeah. gonna find any reason to fire you, even though it's your <laughs> name on the show. He's gonna find any reason to Damn fire it, you. Damn it, Tim! Don't fire me. <laughs> All right, and that's me being Tim here. We're not gonna know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's let's get into the song, and uh, you know what? Let's have Skylar Love introduce the song. Skylar, hello, I'm Skylar Love, and you're listening to Body Bag here on the Chris Court Show. <laughs> you look like rigor mortis I cannot afford this Cancel all the funeral plans Hallucinating torture I am a performer When I do the slide of hand I am the son I am the daughter You're screaming run After the slaughter You are my fear And you are my dream I don't know what's left after the scene Breath so sharp that it penetrates 
it penetrates I bleed in front of you too late Show you I feel pain Don't wanna be another mental case It's too fucking late But if you could go and open up the gates I'd give it one more try Like somebody else you awesome listeners of the Chris Court Show. We've got some exciting news for you. Do you have a band or some amazing tunes you want the world to hear? Well, you're in luck, motherfuckers! We're on the lookout for French talent to feature an interview on our show! That's right! Just send your music and some info to chriscourtshow at gmail.com and we'll play your music! That's no fucking way! Share your music with us and let's mix some magic together on the Chris Court Show. Skylar Love, body bag, oh my fucking god. Fucking love that shit. Damn. Even Tim. Tim, you got stuff to say because I know you were listening and you like that. What do you got to say there? Uh, that was just fantastic. I get a lot of Lord slash Lacey from Firefly vibes on that one. Yeah, it, it, and and she did talk about like not into the. I don't think it was the recorded part, but no. she said at the uh, like, and I did hear it now that I listened to it for the second time. It the uh, busy signal, I think it was yeah. like in the phone line where you hear that. Burp, 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 burp. That was fucking cool. The zipper. That I love the effect that she kept going back and forth with on the chorus. Oh yeah, it was left and right. Yeah, but it was like two different voices going back and forth with each other. It was fucking weird as hell sounding, but it sounded cool as hell too. No, I, I she's super talented. She's only nineteen, and she has this creativity and her the you know the lyrics and like. You know, I it was it was just such a good interview, and it was cool to hear, uh, you know, her backstory and uh, you know the way that she recorded the uh, lyrics. It's just it's so fucking cool. Like I, I duh, you know, duh, duh. How would you spell that? Duh. D A H. <laughs> no, I think it would be D A W, right? Got duh. that. D A W, da. Anyway, if you want to check out her music, uh, it's on YouTube. Uh, you could go to Spotify, all that, all streaming platforms. Um, but.
But that is her new song. Out now. Out now. So go and check it out. Go and support her. Um, she plays in Tennessee. And we need to get her in Chicago. I will, I will, you know, if, hey, you know what? Maybe I can even, like, reach out to different venues and, like, just say, like, hey, you need to play her and get her out here. Yeah. Pay for her airfare. Let's I'll, get her out here. The venues won't do that. Like, seriously, like, she's she's fucking talented. She's and, talented as shit. And I say that, like, 500 times in this interview. Yeah. Yeah. So, anyway, without further ado, let's get to it. Skylar Love interview. Here we go. <laughs> you look like rigor mortis. I cannot afford this. Cancel all the film or plans. Hallucinating torture. I am a performer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Awesome. Sauce. Okay, wait, do you want me to turn on my video? Yeah, if you can, because we do a, a video uh, on YouTube and stuff. If you okay, can. Shoot. No, 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 I can. I just, I, like, need to find good lighting so I don't feel like a jerk. Oh, no. no, you're fine. I have, like, no good lighting in my room because I sit in the dark all the time. Isn't that creepy? Well, that's how my soul goes. <laughs> It sits in the dark Wait, all the time. Is that good? Is that good? There you go. You're good. Yeah. That's good. Cool How beans. Are you doing? I'm good. How are you guys? Good. good. Awesome. So cool. I got a, uh, I got this here for you. Um, uh, I'm just going to do a little introduction. Please do. Yeah. So this is awesome. just a, a little introduction that we do for, for all our guests and everything. So uh, just, just amazing. Something. You know how to use that? Yeah. I, it's it's one of my things that I know how to do. So just just one second. I'm just gonna play a little. No, do it, do it. Yeah. <clears throat> this is you. All right. I really don't know how to play. <laughs> <laughs> I had it, and I'm like, wait, I gotta play this, and then. No, do it. I want you to do it. That was so. Amusing. I don't know how to play. Look at me. I you know I just. Wait, wait, you don't wait. know how to. Why do you have that then? I don't know. Someone gave it to me, and oh, okay. And it's a and it's a like you know a depressing type of instrument. So I just kind of <laughs> like, you know, like whatever. I love this. Isn't that. about me, Skylar. This isn't about me. No, no, it's no, no. It's not no. about it, you. But it is. You, you're the one with the accordion in your hand. That's yeah. like awesome. I never know how to use that. <clears throat> so how are you doing? I'm good. How are you guys? Good. I'm excited about this interview. I'm so excited too. I love talking. So awesome. awesome. This is exciting. Um. So what? Uh. You got the uh interview uh, or the email right about how all this goes and blah 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 blah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um. So... Do you want me to say those things? <laughs> <laughs> we say that later. Say... Okay, okay, okay. That was it was a very professional email, eh? <laughs> no, it was. It was so professional. Well, I was like That's I what like, uh Chat like, GPT awesome. gets you. That, um, that, that's fucking cool. You use Chat G- <laughs> you use, use the AI on me. Hell yeah. <laughs> we use it all the time. Well, it's not just you. We it's send so, it to everyone. It's but... sound professional. I love that. I love that. it does. Yeah. It makes every I'm not a professional person, so that literally I think in like most of our emails we were saying fuck, so um, oh, it's fine, yeah. Yeah, we were actually. Yeah. Um, um, you know, at least chat GPT gave it a professional right. thing to it. It seems like you're a little, can you come in a little bit more this way? Do you want me to cut the table? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Yes, actually cut the table. That'd be awesome. I'm sorry, Skylar. I just need to. A... He's, get, he's getting gonna... picky about the camera setup. Now you disconnected it. Yeah. Now there's no nothing. Now you get nothing. <laughs> this never happens. <laughs> I'm usually profession more professional than this but i think that's okay. fine, right that's fine with me. yeah i love it i All love right. it i look like crazy no it's okay no so do we don't worry about it i just played yeah. an accordion that i don't know how to fucking play so <laughs> is it does that it's look awesome. all, uh, awkward it, tim yeah. does that look awkward it's a little crooked you're a little yeah i was about to say you're a little like for me? yeah it's a little crooked thank you tim we have hr in the studio today oh my gosh i was about to say tim like, yeah, Tim. Whole, there's a whole. He is everything. He does. Yeah, everything he's right. our he's our guy that reaches out to people and 
That's there. awesome. Oh, that's better. Yeah. Thank you. All right. So we'll start the interview. So um, this is a, a 35 minute uh, interview and it kind of cuts off. So we'll talk for the 35 minutes and then, um, you know, if we, we, if you want, we could just, you know, start another session and just have a couple of drinks or, you know, whatever, if you, if you want, uh, yes, but absolutely. we'll start now. Um, and then my name is Chris, by the way, and that's Matt. So just yes, saying. Chris took all the credit for the show. It's the Chris show. Right. I love right. it. Well, he started the show. <laughs> I joined later on. <laughs> yeah. I started it back in 2010. And, that's awesome. Uh, yeah. It's been going on for a while, but then we revamped it up to focus more on uh, independent bands and then do interviews. We've That's done a amazing. lot of interviews across the world and stuff like that. And, you know, so, oh, yeah. um, amazing. yeah, here we go. Oh. Here we go. All right. So welcome back guys. I got mad hair staring at me for some reason. I always do. I know you, <laughs> you always do. And we got Skylar love. <laughs> Hi. Yes, that's <laughs> right. It it's so good to have you back or not back, but on here finally. <laughs> yes. Chatting. No, I've been here a million times, it feels like already. Yeah. Yeah. This <laughs> is like your million at a time. So welcome right? back. Right. <laughs> Thank Man. you. Thank you for having me. Um, so right off the bat, Matt. No, it was it. Ah, yeah. <laughs> that rhymes. Yeah. Um, so right off the bat, I did hear you sing a Beatles song um in one of your videos. And that was but amazing. I did? Yes, you did. You don't remember that? I think it was. No. Um, was it, what was it? Across the universe. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Yeah. 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 I did do that. I'm a huge Whoa. Beatles fan and I heard it and I, I was like, well, damn, this I love is fucking that. good. Yeah. I love that you remember that and I had no recollection. Yeah, of that was that, that's like a rock star <laughs> moment for you. See right there. Uh, that is. It's brain damage for yeah. you. That's a brain damage moment. I don't know what okay. happened there. Well, <laughs> just so you know, that was good. Thank you. Thank you. I was doing like, because I love Fiona Apple's version of it as much as I do love the Beatles version. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Fiona Apple. So, like, yeah, Fiona you know, Apple's the shit. Uh, she is the shit. She's so awesome. <clears throat> so, what got you started into music? And so, how did it, how did all this start? Oh, God. Okay. So, I've been a little rundown that I always give. I've been doing this since I've been like 11. Um, I've been singing since forever uh writing since forever but when i turned like 11 i started performing out um and i've just kind of been like carrying on with it since because i love it it's what i do to like live and breathe it's not really like a hobby thing you know yeah, it's like yeah. a this is my lifeline and if i don't have it i'm dead on the side of the street or something yeah. But, <laughs> but yeah no i and then i um i started doing this like i started doing like the three hour cover show type things like at breweries and stuff which is oh. awesome because i was like 14 to like 16 doing that and i was like i'm so baller and awesome because i was making so much money doing it <laughs> oh wow and then yeah i was and i and it was amazing and then i was like eh, i don't really want to do this anymore like i want to like because i like to do my own music. I like to be an artist, you know? Yeah. Um, so I was like, fuck other people's music. I'm going to do my own thing. And then um, I started doing my own thing when I like turned 17 and I've kind of been at it like ever since. Um, I have music coming out that I'm super de duper de proud of. You've heard some of it, yes. which you're your thing about Dirty Secret that was so nice. I was like, I want to cry. I was like going through a really bad, like, mental headspace moment it like that night and then i saw that you like emailed like my email and was like oh i we listened to dirty secret this is the episode it's on and i listened to that and i was like oh my god i'm gonna sob or something Aww. that was the nicest thing ever that's <laughs> but, awesome no. i got the tinglys right now oh my god <laughs> good a little bit yeah <laughs> no i literally came downstairs and i was like mom dad this is the nicest thing anyone's ever said about me. <laughs> No, it was super awesome and it was so sweet. And I was like, oh my God. And then you guys were like, oh, we, I heard you on the podcast. You were like, oh, we'd love to have you on. And I was like, I'd fucking love to be on it. Are you joking? <laughs> but no, it was super sweet. Um, but yeah, I have stuff coming out, stuff I'm doing, all that fun yeah. stuff. I said stuff three times, now four. That, oh, that's fine. Yeah. I say um a lot. So we even have an um oh, game yes. where that's anytime awesome. I say um, I have to take a shot. I get. 
You know, it's 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 pretty bad for me. I thought you it, were going to say night. you have to take a shit, and I was so confused. I was like, sure, <laughs> no, that's that's, uh, uh, that's a weird game. What time but... is it? No, yeah. not yet. <laughs> so, <laughs> but yeah, all no, right, so... I I totally get it. I say um all the time. You're gonna have to like cut out me saying um fifty million times. Oh, it's fine. I, you know, I'm awkwardly social, so it's it's uh you know. That's a great, like, not socially awkward, awkwardly social. That's yeah, me. awkwardly Thank social. You. I like to say yeah. it backwards, so it's like a thing, you know. That way, it's more socially yeah. awkward. That's where, yep, socially awkward. But I don't. No, do I feel like I'm awkwardly social because I'm very social, but I'm so awkward about it. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. There you go. You're on to something. Yeah. <laughs> so you started. So you started pretty young into music yes. so what got you there like was there like a certain band or artist is like shit man i want to start this thing i i know i have something in me god i don't I, i'm gonna be honest here i don't think so <laughs> like because i've been no, singing since forever like when i was little we literally have this picture of me we were in niagara falls in canada and well that's the only niagara falls so i don't know what i'm saying yeah no but there's a couple <laughs> Well, are there Niagara Falls in America too? Yeah, true. I don't know if there is one, but look at this is, motherfucker cool. calling you out. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I was in Niagara Falls, and like we have a picture of me, and I literally went up on stage and I started singing like "Twinkle Twinkle Little Star" with the band. I don't even oh, know. Oh wow! But um, I've just I'm an attention whore, so yeah, I love it. I love being the spotlight and talking and singing, and I love performing and entertaining. So. That's yeah. this one over here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right? Attention yeah we were, uh, me and him <laughs> were in a band. Actually, Tim over here, too, was, was, we were all in a band, and I was the front man, and, you know, same shit. I'm Amazing. attention whore. What was I your band be, called? Uh, Basement or Joe's Mom, or uh, the, the, there was a couple, right? You Beef Storm. Band yeah. Names, I love it. <laughs> yeah, you know, I love it started in 1999, I think. It, yeah, Fuck yeah. <laughs> but we had a, uh, we recorded albums, you know whatever that's awesome yeah it's it's a depressing music because well i write depressing <laughs> music that's all you write that's, that's all i write so that's all i write too my whole everything that i write about is like i dig it though awesome. really and, fucked and, up. yeah um, thank you um i i've been watching the videos by yeah. the way the whatever you're doing on there like you know live keep that shit up because thank like, you it is so awesome i know your emotions are like there like you could feel that and and that is so fucking cool to see like because you don't you. see too many bands or artists or really anyone these days kind of doing especially that. especially like a lot of like when they're still smaller like they're not doing like stage presence they're kind of just they're singing yeah like, you have stage presence you would do a great it, job I, I was even telling thank matt you. we were watching it and i was like damn that is fucking awesome you don't see that no <laughs> more so it, it's cool it's cool <laughs> I no, I'm such a big believer in it. I I love that shit. Like, and, and it's so funny because I was a part of this thing. I don't know where are you guys from? Chicago. You, you guys? Chicago, got you. I'm from Philly, so close. close oh wait, oh, uh, you thought you were in, from Nashville? Where where? Did I that am come? from. I moved to Nashville, but I'm originally from. Philly. Oh okay, you're from. Okay, so, cool. Yeah, yeah. Every, everybody but, in Nashville is from somewhere else. Oh, okay. oh yeah, that's how it works. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I um. Don't even know what I was saying. Cool. I just got completely sidetracked. Yeah. No, oh. Matt, Matt <laughs> fucked you up, huh? No, no, no. Damn it's it, so Matt. fun. I, I have ADHD. I'm, my brain's all over the place 24-7. <laughs> um, but no, I was saying about stage presence. I I like love it so much. And Oh, the School of Rock. I did this thing called School of Rock. I don't know okay. if you have that where sh in Chicago. But, yeah, yeah um, there's one here too. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. So I was a part of this thing called School of Rock, and um, it was horrible but <laughs> that's just such a mean thing to say but it, it wasn't great i didn't love it um but i did something really cool out of it i got to go to um i got to go and record with atlantic records which was really oh, shit. Cool. no when i was like 13 damn um, i know i was like i i didn't even want to enter the competition but like they were like no enter it enter it but and i i don't even think that it was because the school was horrible it was just the way that other people treated me was yeah. really mean and i was like ha cool but anyways besides <laughs> that point i was in school of rock i did this i did these like live shows and they like would have um themes to them so like some would be like 70s themed 80s themed and i would do them and i would sing and i'd just be standing still with the microphone like right here <laughs> in my face doing absolutely nothing giving zero energy but i was like feeling every second of it yeah. and 
um, one day, I guess I just snapped and went insane. And now I roll across the floor and do yeah. crazy shit. But, that, but no, I, I love it. You know? Yeah. Keep doing that shit. I'm telling you, you, I'm <laughs> telling you, uh, people like to see that raw emotions, not just like, even in like when you hear your your vocals in there too, it's like raw emotions. But when you see it live too, it's it's really fucking cool. And that, I mean, Thank you. that's what I look for. Like you know, because I used to kind of do the same shit. Um, now I can't do it, but uh, like I used to do the <laughs> yeah, same. Yeah, you can because you won't recover for like two weeks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll have to. <laughs> I'll like, yeah, that's that one. I couldn't do that shit now, but uh, yeah, it was the same <laughs> shit because like you get into that mode of like, you know, fuck everybody else. This is my time. You know, all yes. the shit that just like all the shit that has happened to me, all that shit is going to pour right out onto the crowd. And that's Absolutely. how exactly I see it uh, with you. So it, it's thank you. That's really fucking cool. I so appreciate that because like that's exactly how I feel like the only way that I can describe when I'm like performing is just like I black out. <laughs> like I disappear yeah. into this whole other world in my and, brain. Yes. And I did the exact same shit, but that's like yes. where you get the the deepest, darkest shit is when you go into your own Absolutely. brain. And, Absolutely. Uh, yeah. No. The darkest cool. people make the best artists. And that's I why agree. a lot of them are dead. So right. right. <laughs> Yeah. But yeah, no, I I have I truly do have so many inspirations and I'm like it, it's funny cuz like I never did theater, but I'm such like a a nerd for like theatrics. A thespian? Yeah. Oh, I don't yeah. know what's that word mean. Thespian <laughs> is like a uh it's a person who's in theater. Theater, yeah. Oh. Such a <laughs> cool word. I'm going to write that into a song. Thespian, um, yeah. Thespian. I'm going to remember it's not that. Lesbian. Um, thespian. Not lesbian. Thes Less, but it could be. Uh, yes, it is. it's thespian. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I like I was never like in theater. I never did like any type of theater stuff. Um, but like I'm such like I said, I was I'm like such like a nerd for theatrics yeah. and I love that shit. And I feel like when I go on stage and like when I'm writing music or creating like a project. I, I like want it to feel like a story, like you're diving yeah. into something. Cause I always, I always adore when like people do that with their like stage shows or just like with their albums or EPs or whatnot, just something where you can just completely immerse yourself into that and mm -hmm. like disappear to a whole other world. Like Panic at the Disco early on, like yeah. early on, did yeah. a great, like very early on, mm -hmm. like a fever you can't sweat out Panic at the Disco. I know my shit. I love Panic yeah. at the Disco. <laughs> Yep. But I like their shows is something that I wish I like I would die to see one of their shows. In They're coming back, you know that. I know, I know. Brendan Yuri fucked it all up, and then he yeah. went away, and then well, he didn't fuck it all up. He had a baby, I think. But yeah, he did. He did. His baby. <laughs> but fucked still, it all up. his baby fucked it all up. <laughs> <laughs> no, and now they're playing. What are they playing? They're playing at a place in Vegas. And, yeah, I believe uh, a festival. So. Yeah. yeah. And they're playing the entire Fever You Can't Sweat Out album. And me and my best friend are like, that's what got me and my best friend to be best friends. And we're like, we're going. Even though we oh, were literally yeah. born when that album came out. So. Oh, wow. That makes me feel <laughs> you know. old. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I understand. Because I even feel old when I think about it. I'm, not, I'm 19, but still. Yeah. Well, man, you you got a good track record for for being 19. I mean, especially with the songs and everything. So Thank you. Keep that <laughs> Thank shit up. You. I will. <laughs> we, we've noticed a lot of your social media. You have uh, mentions about like joining a cult or something like that. And that's, <laughs> that's what's that all about? <laughs> oh my god! Join our cult. Know. I wanted to join the what? cult and I hit it. Yeah, it brings you to my website. That's the mm -hmm. cult. The you'll, cult you'll, is you'll start getting you'll start getting text messages asking for like ten dollars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah please i'm gonna start doing that that's a great idea just like send it just $10, steals your please. card yeah <laughs> just send ten dollars because i really need food right now or something. <laughs> but um no i i don't know i've always I, i've always been really into this is gonna sound so weird and i swear i'm not like a psychopath as i'm wearing a texas chainsaw massacre shirt no um, it's, i dig it and thank you i'm i'm not a psychopath I don't think so, but um, I've always been such a, like, I've, I've always been so into, like, horror and all that shit, and I got really, over the summer last year, I got really weirdly into, like, the Manson family, and I don't okay. know why, and um, 
it's so funny because when I was writing this whole EP that I'm putting out, um, there's a song on it that I never, I had wrote the whole thing, but I never like put it on there. I never really recorded it or anything. It was called One Man Colt. And it was like all about like Sharon Tate and like the Manson family. Oh, and wow. I don't know. I, I've just always been so intrigued and interested in that whole world because I think it's like so fucked up and weird yeah. um, and horrible, obviously. But like, have you I read Helter I, Skelter? I haven't. Oh, it's, I it's haven't. good. It's a, it's I'll a read big, it. big book, but it's it's good. Absolutely. I'll read it. I need to. Yeah. But I love I love that shit. So I was just like, you know what? This is a cult now. This is a weird fucked up family if you want to listen to my music <laughs> so um, i thought it would just be like really silly and fun to like no, that it, yeah yeah i like it this thing and it kind of gives just, you like, like a niche too yeah right right it's fun it's quirky and scary and i love when i post stuff like that because i do live in nashville i live in the little bible belt um so when i when i post stuff like that people end up unfollowing me oh <laughs> that, really like, followed me out yeah and i'm like <laughs> I'm like, I wonder why they unfollowed me as I'm like pouring blood onto my head and like being like, ah, I'm gonna kill everyone. So, <laughs> so what kind of but, blood was yeah. that, by the way? Was that oh, was that real human blood? I wonder. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It was okay. real human blood. I thought so. I just you know wanted to make sure. Yeah. She, she's making sure she keeps it theatrical. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> you yeah. Gotta use I the real keep, shit. <laughs> keep realness to the whole thing. I you like know, that. make it yeah. feel real. No, yeah. it was like corn starch. I mean, corn syrup. So. Okay. Yeah, and I like put food dye in it, so it's yeah. fun. <laughs> yeah, that looked cool as shit. So thank you. You have um, "Dirty Secret," um, yes. and that's not your newest song, though. That's out, right? No, it's not. Confess is confess. Yeah, and we yes. and that's the song that we just listened to too. Yay. So and "Dirty Secret," uh, you know, we just we played on what was a couple couple episodes two episodes ago, yeah, two episodes ago. Uh, the production on it, what? Are, are you doing that or who's oh god no i wish because <laughs> the production on that is really really fucking good i know fucking gorgeous um my lovely producer my literal partner in crime i feel um his name is john heiler um he's literally he's based out in la he's literally like the best thing i think that has ever happened to me i like yeah. wish i could go on and on about how much i love and adore that man like he's the sweetest thing he's just like and he's such he's a genius like he's a genius i'll send him shit and we'll just like get to work and like literally it was so funny because the other day we were on a phone call and he was like let's like do a session like let's start like writing something and i had a song and he's like okay let's write this part and for like three hours we were so tediously working on this one part i'm like i'm gonna kill you but i'm also gonna love you at the end of this because like <laughs> you're like helping me be a better songwriter a better artist you know but yeah. no he just truly brings out like the best in what i do and i think that that's a super important thing um to have somebody sure. on your team who can bring out this like whole other energy that you were also trying to convey during the whole thing yeah. um but yeah no his name's john heiler he's amazing look him up look at his shit he's got that's a awesome, crazy man. insane repertoire of artists he's worked with he's He's so amazing. I respect the shit out of him. As soon as You're I welcome, heard that. welcome, John. Hi. Just, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send you yeah, Johnny like, boy. how much I boasted about you. <laughs> <laughs> but that's awesome. As, as soon as I heard it, you know, obviously the vocals are there. You got the lyrics, um, which we'll talk about in a second. And then Please. the uh, production. Uh, and and yes. like I heard the production. I'm like, this is fucking insane. Because you don't hear like, uh, you know, like like more independent uh, uh bands musicians like with that high of production and and yeah absolutely and uh you know that was, it was really good so johnny boy did Thank a good you. job i don't know he why i'm calling johnny did. boy because you guys are friends please, yeah we're friends now. Even though you have do. no idea who he is <laughs> <laughs> no it, it's, it is it's amazing it's like it's so awesome and i couldn't even thank him like more than i already have i like i wish i could like give him half of like my kidney or something or maybe a whole other kidney or something does he need one or? <laughs> careful what you offer he might need one soon yeah well if he does i'll be like cool you gave me fucking awesome it. work here you go you're gonna <laughs> no, hand him it to like that yeah. yeah i'm gonna hand him it with in my hands like here, here you go, go. 
No, I I absolutely adore him. I think he's such a genius. I think he's such he's such an artist. Um, yeah. And for real, check him the fuck out. He's awesome, and he's such like he's so supportive. It's insane. Like That's he cool. is. I met I met him like two years ago, and it's so crazy because it's like since then he's just constantly been like vetting for me and rooting for me and everything I do. Yeah. And I like. I like want to cry because it's so nice. No, <laughs> but yeah. go ahead, cry. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. Will yeah, that give you good ratings? <laughs> yeah, cry. Do it. Guess we'll who cries on our podcast? <laughs> <laughs> we make guests cry. <laughs> yes, that's awesome. Um, your lyrics, and uh, I mentioned this in the last episode. Uh, oh, fuck, what were they? Um. You were the toothpaste with toothpaste alcohol. alcohol. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. <laughs> so that, I don't remember. I don't know why, but like that is such a, a and it's so simple and basic, but it it's oh, such thank you. Thank good lit. No, 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 no. But you know, like <laughs> you know what I mean. Like it, it's I know, like I very creative. Thank so you. So what made you like, and not just that part, but like so? Tell, give me a backstory of that because I want to know from for like oh when I when okay. I jam out to it when I'm going to fucking work and I'm like fuck yeah. Okay, so the backstory to that song, I, um, it's actually, a, you're not going to want to jam out to it anymore because it's going to become really sad now. Oh, um, fuck but, yeah. That's <laughs> what he jams out to the most. Oh, okay. Well, then cool. <laughs> We're one and the same. I love it. Um, but Dirty Secret, I wrote like last year um, in October. So literally a year ago is insane. Um, but I wrote that about like a very like it was a real situation that happened like okay. it was a real thing. So um, it was just about a really fucked up night that I had um, never drank before, but I had some apple juice that night. Um, oh, well, and, yeah, you know, being a stupid, dumb teenager, yeah. um, I went through a really fucked up situation and um I ended up writing about it because it was kind of like this person who was truly really bad for me and was making me feel like so horrible about myself. And then I ended up realizing later on, like, hey, this situation, um, because I would I drank so much apple juice that I don't really even remember that night. Yeah. Um, apple juice will do that. I apple juice does that. Yeah. Um, I was like, oh, hey all that stuff that happened was really fucked up and not good um so i wrote a song about it and i was and it was kind of also like this person was hiding me and being like no i love you i really like you i really like you and like just completely like making me feel a certain way so i didn't turn around and think oh that situation was fucked up you yeah. did that because you liked me you know so um the whole thing about like toothpaste and alcohol was genuinely because i ended up passing out and then i woke up to being kissed by somebody who had toothpaste and i was like did you just brush your teeth oh and my was, god <laughs> and i was like what the fuck i was like i and i was like and too on so much apple juice yeah. to even understand what was happening but yeah it was fucked up it was bad not a great situation um and uh i'm constantly nervous to talk about it because yeah um people are assholes and oh, want for to sure silence me <laughs> and um when i end up coming out and talking about shit like that literally i talked about it when i was releasing it and um ended up getting threatened which was awesome oh my God. um yeah because people are assholes and it's like hey i'm a teenager and you were also like right five years older than me <laughs> so right. it's weird um but yeah no it was fucked up but i'm not really scared to talk about it anymore because i just i want to bring awareness to it because when i was like 11 i i was sexually assaulted i've had sexual trauma you know it's it's horrible it sucks it's, yeah a really bad negative thing and um I, I feel like i'm simplifying it so much but um i i enjoy having uncomfortable and those like weird conversations that people don't like having because i feel yeah. like they are so important and that's what so much of my music is about the whole ep is called confess and it's all about like my mental health it's all about me feeling like a shitty person feeling like I was fucked over, feeling like I, I want to love, I don't want to love, I'm scared of this, I'm scared of that. So, yeah. you know, it's just, it's a very insider addition of yeah, what's yeah. going on in my brain all the time. Um, and yeah, no, I just, I always want to bring light to it because 
there there are shitty situations that I had to deal with and um Dirty Secret is one of them but it also gave me a badass fucking a badass song, song. So, yes yeah so I'm not I'm like I I used to say this thing when I was like 13 I used to be like I used to come home from school and tell my parents I'd be like I'm being bullied really bad and they're like oh my god that's horrible and I'd be like sobbing and really upset but then I was like no it's okay because I love when bad things happen to me I'm gonna write a really awesome song <laughs> but, but like at the same time like now like being 19 looking back at that I'm like oh god like I shouldn't say that because like that's kind of like fucked up like I want to give myself time to heal yeah. and grow and feel good about me and myself and not just be like I love being in the darkness I love being sad and depressed because I want to write a good song you yeah. know but at the same time darkness is where the best songs come from anyways I was just rambling it, for like 500 minutes no I liked it and and okay, you know great. what it really is <laughs> darkness I mean especially uh for me because I, I you know a lot of mental health is um is kind of what I always wrote about and mm -hmm. that is where I think like you get like, you know, you have a lot of bands that wrote the darkest shit and they were on yes. drugs and there was so much shit that happened and that was their best music. But when they cleaned up and it's, it sucks to say, but like when, when they clean up their music's like, eh. <laughs> I no I, I agree with you. It's like a fucked up thing to say, but like, I know what you mean. Yeah. It's like things, things like that, your art, I, I love this quote. I forget who it's by, but there's a quote that's like, I either write when I'm falling in love or falling apart. Yeah. And it's so true. Oh, I because like that there's actually. Yeah. There's never an in between. Really, no. When you're like, there's either like when you're at your happiest or when you're at your fucking lowest. And when you're just cruising, there's nothing to write about. Exactly. That's how yeah. I feel right now. I'm like, can some, can someone punch me in the face so I can write about it or something? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what we're going to do right now, uh, we're just going to record those things that uh, that was emailed to you just so we can get yes. the aud audio uh, version of it. So Absolutely. <clears throat> all you have to do is say, hello, this is Skylar Love, and you're listening to The Chris Court Show. This episode is brought to you by. Okay, amazing. Okay, I'm going to remember. Okay, hello, my name is Skylar Love. You're listening to Chris Court Show, and this episode is brought to you by, right? Yeah, that's it. Okay, cool. Okay, I'm gonna say it like better now. <laughs> okay. Hell yeah. Yeah. Hello, I'm Skylar Love, and you're listening to the Chris Court Show. And this episode is brought to you by Awesome Jazz Hands. <laughs> now, what song do you want us to play? Like when we release all this, is there? <gasps> do you want us to play the new one, or what do you want us Question, to play? Question: When are you releasing it? It will be. Re when is it? Next Friday? Uh, no. Oh yeah, next Friday. Yeah, yeah. it will be ne next, yeah, Friday, next Friday. Next Friday is what date? Mm, the fifteenth. Oh, can I send you guys my song "Body Bag" that's coming out that day? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Fuck yeah! Oh my so goodness. Then, um, yeah. So then the next one, just say hello. This is Skylar Love, and you're listening to "Body Bag" here on the Chris Court Show. Yay! Okay, so hello, my name is Skylar Love, and you're listening to "Body Bag," and then you're on the Chris Court Show. Here yeah, on the Chris Court. Oh, here. I was like, you're, that's a funny thing to say. No, no, no one else is on there but, but you. <laughs> no one's on, I'm on the Chris Court show. <laughs> okay, amazing. Okay. Wait, hold on. Fuck. My brain. Okay. You're fine. <laughs> okay. Hello, I'm Skylar Love, and you're listening to Body Bag here on the Chris Court show. Awesome. There you go. Fuck yeah, I'm so good at this shit. Give me you more are. shit to say. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you like our lava lamp? That doesn't I work. do. Yeah, it's I been do. out for I... over an hour and it's not doing anything. <laughs> oh, that's weird. <laughs> trying to, we're trying to bring aesthetic here, and and it doesn't. There's so do much damping. aesthetic. There's so much aesthetic. I love it. No. no, I have a lava lamp too, and I also have a salt lamp. And I was on the phone with someone, and they were like, "Lick it. It tastes like salt." And I was like, "You're lying." Well, it's, and I licked it. it, it. You did it, it right? Yeah. <laughs> It tasted like salt, but I was like, you're such an asshole for making me do that because it's so nasty. And also, my salt lamp is, like, covered in dust, I think, because it's, like, in a corner. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you should have so. licked it. So does it actually yeah. work or, like, does it yeah, make it does. you feel better? It does. Yeah, it does. I, I no, it hear does. mixed reviews I don't know if it makes it. me feel better, but yeah. 
it, yeah. it lightens my room in a cool way. <laughs> oh, okay. So, so it, it works. Just... It works as a lamp. Great. Yeah, <laughs> that, that's it. I don't know what it's exactly supposed to do. I mean, it's relaxing. It, it's supposed to like but... put out like good vibes to you or some shit, and, like help you feel better. <laughs> well, sure. Yeah. No, it, it relaxes me. I mean, I think. But well, I, I, maybe I used it so much it doesn't work much anymore. I need sage to make me feel better. Yeah, he likes to burn sage. Me too. It smells yeah. so good. Oh. It does. You know what's and, good? And... Nog Champa. Oh, yes! <laughs> Holy shit, I have that. I actually have that. That's my <gasps> favorite incense. Me too. My mom gets so much of it, and I have like an incense, like a little holder, and I burn yeah. it all the time in my room. That's Whenever people actually... come over, is like the only time I clean my room, and I like that, and I'm like, welcome to my peaceful room. Acting like it's like this all the like time. Like a hippie? Got your salt yeah. lamp on, got your incense burning. <laughs> no, truly. And I'm like, I act like it's like this peaceful little thing, and it's like, it's not. It's always chaotic in there. I bet her lava lamp works. Yeah. It does. It we does. need to buy a new one. <laughs> but Where we had our, I, I, I got it like maybe 15 years ago. Well, that might be why it doesn't work anymore. <laughs> yeah, <you're probably> right. <laughs> Yeah, you're probably right, Skylar. It's, it's getting soft. <laughs> yeah, it's doing something. It probably just takes like six hours to start. You know, if we're going to be professional. We need to have this working. Well, then buy a better one. Yeah, no, I ain't got money for that. Um, <laughs> but we used to, actually, we had, do you remember, Tim, when we uh, called the band Nag Champa? Oh, I love that. No? Okay. I don't remember that. No one remembers. Uh, but you do. Been here, though. No one remembers, yeah. Well, okay. Maybe I'm making it up. That's a good name though. I like that. Yeah. See, you know, I had a good, I had a good band name that, cause I, I think I said something about, I, I don't know what I was saying, but I said the stray hairs and I was like, that's kind of a cool band. <laughs> it's like the stray cat struts or wait, yeah, is go. that their name or no, that was the, the song name. That was the song name. Yeah. Song. What song name? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so anyway, so we got about <laughs> uh, four minutes left. So Love let's it. let, this is where we're going to promote your shit. So yes. do you have any upcoming live shows? Yes. Can, <laughs> it took me a second. Can you to come think. to Chicago? Can I? I absolutely would love to. It's so funny because I wish I met you guys like a year ago because I played in Chicago. Oh, damn. Where at? Year. Oh, fuck. I played at this place. Oh, my gosh. I'm never going to remember. Oh, Wait, hold on. Fine. I'm going to be I'm going to be rude and look on my phone. Really oh, it's, quick, cause... it's phone. I, I have it. I know it was so fun and I played it and I played it um with uh some people that are my friends that I met in uh Philadelphia. Um and they invited me. They hosted the whole thing and they did such a phenomenal job. That's and it awesome. was so much fun. And um I would love to come back. It was their name's Wolf Road, by the way. They're uh band Wolf members. Road, okay. Yeah, they're awesome, and like I think like <clears throat> all of them are lawyers, which is so badass. Oh wow! Um, the Cobra perfect. Lounge. Oh, oh the Cobra Lounge. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Actually, that's, that's where, where the other band is. Well, whatever. It doesn't matter. But <laughs> that's awesome. No, it was so much fun. Um, I I played it, and the turnout was so great. They was like, I think it was like their first time hosting something like that, and they did such an awesome job, and it was so much fun. But anyways, um, my next upcoming show is november 20th um okay and i will post about it so you yes. can find all that information on all my stuff that's labeled official skylar love and skylar with an a not but a join the cult and join the cult join do the it. fucking cult do it join the fucking cult. click subscribe send ten dollars yep that's right. <laughs> and send exactly send me ten dollars so i can eat <laughs> <laughs> And uh, so the song "Body Bag" is 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 well. No, we're talking future tense, but it's going to be out now, right? Yes, well, it's going to be out right now. So uh, click on it. It's right going to be on now. Spotify, <laughs> exactly. Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube, all that shiz. So all yeah. of it. Oh, I that's love it. Awesome. I'm so excited. It's something that I'm so super de do pretty proud of, and I can't. I can't I, wait for people to hear it. I cannot wait to hear it, even though I kind of yes. heard it, but I didn't hear it yet because it's in the future. Oh, but yeah. I did hear it, but I didn't. Yeah, yeah. This is now, but it's also in the future. Shit. Exactly. This is really <laughs> confusing, but I'm I'm trying to follow. Right. <laughs> Yay! Right. Oh my god, Skyler, yes. <laughs> man, this was such an awesome interview. Thank you. Yes. For coming on thank you yeah thank no problem me. it's it's been great um 
we will well we're about to end in a minute here so i'm gonna i'm gonna i'll send you another link and then i'll tell you exactly what we kind of do with the uh, uh other stuff um as far as sending everything out and um uh yeah so thank you again for coming and on on the uh, on the podcast on the video so we're gonna we're gonna we're, we'll talk to you in a little bit Yes. But I've been drinking, so don't don't worry. Yeah. About it. <laughs> I'm tripping on my own words. Love I told it. you I'm awkwardly social. You got more apple juice over there? Yes. Yeah, yeah. No, I need some apple juice. Oh no. <laughs> Whiskey? Yeah. Anyway, thank you so much, Skylar. Thank you. Awesome. Awesome sauce. Okay, you're gonna send me another thing, right? Yeah, yep. I'll send you another link if I can find okay. out how to end this shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Do you want me to just leave? I think I can leave. Oh, I got it. Once again, thank you for listening to The Chris Court Show. Remember, if you have a band or business, or know someone that has a band or business, send all the info and MP3s to chriscourtshow at gmail.com. Chicken nuggets and cranberry sauce. The Chris Court Show.